Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iCloud activation lock devices on Checkmate devices such as the 5S up to X using Brook Remedies. As you can see, I got an activation lock device which is the iPhone 6 Plus. It's on the activation lock screen. To do this, you need WinRain 2.1 and Brook Remedies Pro. And please disable antivirus protection has it is a false positive for broke RAM disk. Not to worry, they are not some virus that steals your data. After which, open broke RAM disk pro, open broke RAM disk, click yes for UAC, scene has a black screen. Then connect the server, click OK. Once connect the server done, it will say connect i device. To register your ECI ID, Click the ECID to copy. Then after that, click the not register word to register, which will open up the link, which is this link. Paste the ECID, click register. Click OK. After which, disconnect and reconnect your iPhone to get the registration updated. For me, I already registered the device. I'm just showing you how to register your device. After which, take note of the device type and the iOS version. For me, it's iPhone 7, 1 and iOS 12.4.8. Take note of this. You need this to download the RAM disk. After it, go to the program disk, go to RAM disk, iOS 12 for my case. Depending on iOS version, choose the correct one. For me, is iPhone 7, 1. I double confirm the device type here. Click download to download the file needed to boot the remedies and get around with this activation lock. This is without cost by the way, the activation lock. You get most of the iPad service working but without the cost. After which, copy this file over to the boot in the boot remedies under lips boot then paste here the boot file here you can go back to program this main folder and close your download folder after which go to winrain to put the device in pawn dfu mode you get usc prompt click yes this will be a black screen as i'm using obs go to checkmate then click next let it enter recovery mode this will take quite some time be patient. Once on recovery mode, click start and follow instructions on the screen to put the device into DFU mode. This will take some time though, the DFU mode initialization. Now allow it to load drivers and put the device in pawn DFU mode. Although the broke end disk has its own pawn DFU, it doesn't work for me. So I show you an alternate method just in case the built-in pawn DFU doesn't work for you. Just click quit once you're done. Then options, hello screen bypass, ram disk, then back, then start. Then click boot i device to start. If you get this, don't forget to select your iOS version for me it's iOS 12 click boot RAM disk let it do its magic to load the RAM disk onto the device you get iTunes pop up you can close it if you want to just close boot the i device to the RAM disk this will take quite a while you get this flashy colors very nice flashes and then a line of taxes will just do this will take quite some time so be, be patient and twindle your thumbs if you want to. Once your device is now in SSH mode, you can click OK, Next, click Bypass iCloud and skip setup so that I won't have to go through the process of setting up the device and jump straight to the home screen. Click Bypass iCloud. Get okay, checking SSH and do all the things they need to do. 
activating iDevice. you get this. Do you want to block OTA updates and reset? This is up to you. I'm not going to apply, so I'll click no. It will enable airplane mode for cellular devices has to prevent the activation system from detecting the missing activation ticket or the forged tickets and putting it back to hello screen. It will dis disable baseband by enabling airplane mode. I'll show you when the device is booted up. You will not be able to disable airplane mode at all. Although the iDevice will be on home screen. See? It is on the home screen. And I can tr show you what I'm talking about. I will not be able to disable airplane mode. The device will be Wi-Fi only and you cannot make any calls. Siri should work. I mean, Siri doesn't work actually. I just realized. Although it's bypass, you can use this as an iPod touch. And you can use it as a camera as well. However, Siri isn't working. Unfortunately, for my case, it's bypass and on the home screen. I do hope you enjoy this tutorial video. Please like, share, and comment on my video. Then please do subscribe to my channel. Soon, I will be releasing my Twitter links and maybe other socials. See you in the next video. I hope you have a good day ahead.